Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today we're going to look at Marilyn Monroe Scrapbook Volume 14. As you can see we've gone back to the WH Smith's photo albums, it is a different colour, it's this lovely purpley colour. I actually really like this colour. Um, so yeah, this is Volume 14, so let's have a look. So again, we've got a lovely picture of Marilyn here. This is a still from River of No Return, or publicity still, and that's uh, with the uh, actor Rory Calhoun. Nice cover picture. And this one says, Candle Still Burning for Marilyn Monroe. This was from my weekly, September 29th, 2001. So it's just, again, an overview of her life and um, career and death. This is still part of it, so there's some little facts. So the fun girl talking about Marilyn, some quotes. And then Marilyn uh, quotes, alleged quotes, because I haven't really read them for a long time. And what awards that she did uh, uh, receive. Not many, but the ones that she did. And there's a little final word, um, which just basically says, Marilyn's last completed film was The Misfits, which also starred Clark Gable, Eli Wallach and Montgomery Cliff. In the film, Clark Gable looks at her and says, you're the saddest girl I ever saw. Um, this next one says, hello Norma Jean. This is from Mail on Sunday Review. Again, October 21st, 2001. Revealed after 40, 40 years, the lost photographs which show Marilyn Monroe's first steps to stardom and the tragedy that blighted her childhood. So these are the ones, the photos that David Borker had for his documentary, um, The Legend of Marilyn Monroe, which came out in 1963 and they've been hidden in an archive for a long time ever since, allegedly, apparently. Um, again, I've seen most of these. There were a couple, for instance, this one's quite an unusual one of her doing a dance class and this one of her there. They were unusual at the time. Is that the strap? The strap's in the way. Let me get the strap out of the way. Why is that there? There, that's a bit better. The next one is from the National Enquirer, October 23rd, 2001. We're here for the boys. Leading ladies play their part in a salute to the troops. So this is about Hollywood stars, female stars, singing to the troops, as Marilyn did in 1954, when she traveled to Korea um, and appeared over there for a while. Next page is just some little bits on, these were about um, best stars, best films. And then this is um, again from the Empire Magazine and this is an overview of the book. Uh, Billy Wilder's Some Like It Hot by Tashin, Tishin, how we pronounce it. Um, it's a lovely book. I have that book. If you want me to do a quick overview of that, I will. Just let me know. It is massive so we will have to do it like this. It's not something I can hold up and show you. It is too heavy, but it's lovely. Again, we've got um, an internet article here, which is BBC Education, uh, Spotlight Film and Media, Marilyn of Marilyn. So this is a documentary where Marilyn talked for herself. So this is recordings of her um, that they used. And again, this is all about Marilyn on Marilyn here. Uh, this side sir, is from Star. I think that's another bad magazine. January 8th, 2002, Marilyn Repose Nude to Escape Poverty. So that's about her doing the, the nude calendar that was in, um, eventually used in the first issue of Playboy. Um, and, and she did it because she needed to pay the rent and was hungry. And then Mail on Sunday, January the 20th, 2002, Frank, Marilyn and More Old Wives Tales. So Peter Lawford, Frank Sinatra and the various rumours that came that way. Uh, this is BBC News on the internet. Monroe photos make UK debut. Again, these are the Burt Stewart ones that were travelling around at the time. We've probably seen them on the uh, last sitting or something similar, if not. Monroe fans snap up memorabilia. BBC News again in March 2002. This is to do with an auction that they had. Let's see what else they said. Yeah, various bits and pieces. Just have a look. Lots of different items on sale there, including a pair of shoes. This one, oh, is one of these side ones. So I'll just move this up here. 
haven't we seen you somewhere before daily mail friday march the 22nd 2002 and this is just sophie dell who they decided looked like marilyn for some reason because she's blonde picture of marilyn in the seven year itch from people magazine daily mail May 21st, 2002, did Monroe kill Clark Gable? Obviously this is about Clark Gable dying shortly after the Misfits had filmed. And the rumors that Marilyn's behavior caused his death. Um, the fact that he smoked 40, 40 cigarettes a day had nothing to do with it, obviously. Nice long article though. Um, then we've got National Enquirer, July 2nd, 2002, stars play dress up and there is a picture of Oh, Lonnie Anderson, because she hasn't played enough Bonds in her life. She's got to dress up as Marilyn as well, because she's already done uh, Thelma Todd and Jane Mansfield. You Magazine, again, I have a copy of this in my archive upstairs. Um, in Bed with Marilyn. This is about the Douglas Kirkland photographs. These are the Douglas Kirkland, so nice article with some of the lovely photographs. <laughs> because they were having an exhibition of them. And that's lovely, that one. And we got Sunday Express magazine, 14th of July, Monroe Mania, on the 40th anniversary of her death. She remains the embodiment of beauty, glamour and tragedy. Uh, Marcia Moody, whoever that is, ce celebrates her enduring appeal. And this is quite good, it's got a picture of the little Barbie doll down there, which we have upstairs on the archive. Basically, it goes through some of her careers, the films, uh, stuff people want to buy, celebrities that want to dry, um, dress up as her, such as uh, Nicole Kidman and Rachel Hunter, uh, Mariah Carey owns her piano, Lisa Marie Replesi dressed up as her as well, obviously Madonna, Daryl Hannah, and so on. There's a few pictures here of people Dress up as Marilyn, and Nicole Smith, Kylie Minogue, not sure who that is. Oh, Daryl Hannah, uh, Lucy Benjamin, who was in EastEnders, and of course, Madonna. And this page, we have uh, National Enquirer, July 16, 2002, Battle of the Aging Movie Queens. Again, this is about Jeannie Carmen and Mamie Van Doren. Jeannie Carmen's now passed on. Um, basically fighting about who was best friends with Marilyn, I would imagine. <laughs> Neither of them is what I'm going to say. Okay, so the next one is the Daily Mail, July 27th, 2002. How the Mafia Murdered Marilyn by Wendy Lee. Except for, well, they didn't, so there you go. Sunday Times Magazine, July 28th, 2002, Death of the Maiden. This is about Andre de Dienis's, uh images, and I believe the publication of the Taschen book. I, I want to say that because it certainly would explain it. So we've got some of the lovely photographs that Andre took, as well as quite a bit of text. So yeah, love these ones for in the snow. And some of these are very famous. And they're just beautiful photos he took. Yes, it is about the um, the book he he put out. Um, he put out a what well, he didn't put out. He's long since passed. But Tajin put out a book box set that contained a massive book of his photographs and text, a copy of his journal that he kept when they were photographing together, and a small booklet of um, magazine covers. Again, if you want, I can show you that. You just need to leave a comment and let me know if you want to see that one as well. Oh, Marilyn, as you've never seen it before. Love Marilyn by the Franklin Mint. This was from when the Franklin Mint actually sold in the UK. I actually have this doll. It's upstairs in a box, sadly. Um, just because um, till we get this side of the room done, there's nowhere to put it. They stopped doing it because they fell into an argument, legal ramifications with Princess Diana's estate. Um, and they shut down operations over here and now we can't get anything. We have to pay the horrific import charges and postage charges to get anything we want from Franklin Mint from America. So I haven't bothered 
in a long time, sadly. It was in the, the noughties, I bought something. I bought something from eBay, from America. It was one of the Frank Mint dolls. Yahoo News, Monroe Auction marks 40th anniversary of her death. Again, another London auction, allegedly contains some of her jewellery, a dress, among other things, because there were other uh, items from various other stars and films. Monroe Jewellery fetches 16,000. This is BBC News. This is again about that auction. I would... Yeah. Some of these came from the estate of um, Eleanor B.B. Goddard, who was known to sell fakes. So I would be wary about those. The next page is Total DVD August 2002, Diamonds Are Forever. As Fox releases Marilyn Monroe, The Diamond Collection, Deborah Shrewsbury looks back at the tragic light of a true Hollywood icon. So this is about the British release of The Diamond Collection. In America, they released it in two sections, part one and part two. In the UK, it was released as one. I gave me some lovely photographs from the Fox films. A list of the films that she made. Very nice. Some quotes and again more pictures and of course there was a, a, a competition at that point to win it. On this page we have the um, in-depth information of the Diamond Collection so an overview of each film which continues on this page and of course the Seven Year Itch, the Final Days and so on. It's on DVD August 2002 um, 11 discs, 10 films and loads of extras make up this bumper DVD set. Again, the Diamond Collection. Lovely. And that is volume 14 of the Marilyn Scrapbooks. Like I said, I've still got about 10 or so to do. I haven't... I've got folders and folders of clippings to put into scrapbooks, so I will show you how I do that at some point. Um, but that's it for this video. That's uh, another one of those done. I will be back soon with volume 15. If you've liked this, comment. Don't forget if I've asked you if you want to see something, leave a comment below. And I will certainly look into making a video on that particular item if you want me to. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon with another Marilyn flip through. Bye now.